Okay, you're just going to have to trust me on this. I'm shining this down here. I'm looking right down here and it says 15A. 15A. And I also, uh, I didn't pull, I didn't pull that one off. I pulled this one, this one off over here. Okay. And that says 15A. Isn't that something? I mean, I would never really do that in a the kitchen. These are on 20 amp circuits, circuit breakers. You saw that in the sub panel. They have 15 amp uh, GFI outlets and they also have 20 amp GFI outlets. There's a reason why. Because if you put the 15 amp in there and you overload the circuit, well, I guess their theory is here, hey, if you overload it beyond 15 amps, it's going to trip the 15 amp circuit before anything else and then it's going to trip the other uh, electrical outlets that are connected but in my view I would have ran 20 amp uh, GFI electrical outlets and then on these particular electrical duplex receptacles I would have made sure that when I was at the store I got 20 amp um, duplex receptacles and not the 15 amp okay that is the rest of the story if you have any questions about that you can ask you can google it you can ask somebody at the hardware store go to the electrical area and and, and ask them what hey what what are your thoughts or when the inspector comes out ask him what he thinks but I think the inspector kind of missed that I would not do this in my judgment and that's just my point of view if you got any questions or comments you want to send me please do so you know, and in fact, I'm going to be installing a uh, backsplash up here in the kitchen. And um, before I do that, next time I'm at the hardware store, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask somebody there at the electrical um, department what they would do, what they would recommend in a kitchen area like this. And I'm going to, I'm, I'm thinking he's, I'm highly likely going to hear him say. Um, change, since you have a 20 amp circuit breaker and all of your wires in the kitchen are 12 gauge wires, go ahead and change out these uh, 15 amp GFIs to 20 amp GFIs and then take your duplex electrical re receptacles that are attached to those GFIs, which are those two and, and this one over here, um, to go ahead and replace those with, with, uh, with 20 amp duplex outlets and I could do all that when I get ready to do the um, backsplash because once I get ready to do the backsplash because all the electrical is there what I'm gonna have to do is either I'm gonna have to disconnect if I was gonna save all these electrical outlets I would pull them out and then pull them all the way out of the wall and then tip them up sideways or twist them sideways and push them back in the box even with the wire still on there I can leave the breakers off and whatever, and then I can put the uh, I can put the uh, tiles on even with the electrical outlet still there. But in this case, if I were going to be removing all of these, I'd remove the wires, just let the wires stick out, put wire nuts on them, whatever. And then when I got ready to reinstall everything, I'd reinstall the 20 amp uh, duplex receptacles and the 20 amp uh, GFIs. Okay, that's that's what I would do there. All right, enough of that. Let's see if there's anything else to tell you about that electrical outlet I'm getting ready to install. Well, I think that's about all I have to tell you about an electrical outlet such as this. So for all of those reasons, and for the main reason that even though this electrical outlet is still working because this is, is cocked at an angle, and because I don't want to have this... this uh, paper towel, napkin, toilet paper, any of that pushed up behind it, I'm going to replace it. And, you know, it's not going to take me very long to replace it. It cost me 77 cents plus tax, less than a buck, to replace this electrical outlet. For all of those reasons, I'm going to replace it. And next time you go around, you're going to start looking around on your, on your plugs, on your outlets, at home, okay, are any of them broken? Are any of these, are any of the, the ground areas broken? If this little thing is snapped off, yeah, 
code says you're supposed to replace it. If this is cracked or something else or your face is loose, anything like that or one piece is all missing, you'll know, hey, you'll, you'll know, trust me, if you've got anything going on, it, it's way better. This is an insurance policy to replace this rather than to wait to have a fire or have somebody plug in a heater to it or a vacuum cleaner extension cord to it and then pull it out at an angle or something and have it spark or have it catch on fire as you're vacuuming somewhere or in the middle of the night something happens because it was broken and somebody tried to poke something in there or the, or the little ground plug to your extension cord is wedged down in there and now you can only plug in the top two and not the whole through the whole uh, cord get a different cord now because because one stuck in there all, for all those reasons just go ahead and replace it okay now you know all the different things to look at and uh, to, to see what to do what type of electrical outlet to get at the store what color to get at the store what size to get at the store and all that kind of stuff okay and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And if you thought that I was going to tell you and show you how to remove an, a duplex electrical outlet on this video, I'm so sorry about that. But hopefully you got your classroom setting you're a beginner you didn't know that much you know way more now than you did before just watch another one of my videos how to how to remove an electrical outlet for dummies or whatever it is go to my main youtube channel page if you can't find them on my channel and you want to look for it go to my main youtube channel page click on playlists and then scroll down to electrical i got all kinds of topics on there for how different things on how you can save money around the house, not just electrical, okay? But for this particular purpose, click playlists, scroll down to electrical, and then scroll down through the, theirs and see what you're looking for, how to replace an electrical outlet for dummies, or how to, how to install a three-way light switch, how to, how to remove a dimmer switch, how to install a dimmer switch, how to, how to install a light fixture, how to install a ceiling fan, how to remove a ceiling fan. Anything having to, a, to do with electrical that I've made on my channel, I've put right there. So look for them on my channel. Uh, what is my video about today? Well, hey, I think you probably already know. Here, I got my electrical outlet here. I'm going to replace this duplex electrical outlet in the wall. I'm going to replace that defective one with this one. If you want to watch that, stick around and I'll show you how. Now what's the deal, Joe? If you were watching another uh, video of mine and you saw all this, you know that this particular electrical outlet is in fact working, but it's not working like it should. I've got this little thing plugged in there and it's for cats. If you have a cat pissing on your carpets at home, you might want to get some of this stuff that works really super good. You plug it in there, it, sh it shoots off an aroma. It doesn't shoot off, it just kind of weeps it into the room. You, you can't smell it, your, your dogs can't smell it. It's not going to affect your dogs. And if you have cats, they're, it's going to affect them. It's going to calm them down a little bit and it's going to prevent them um, from pissing and urinating on your carpets, on your electrical outlets, on your walls, on your baseboards, whatever, okay? Try it. You might, you might be um, pleasantly surprised. This is called Comfort Zone, and this was a value pack Momi got, and it came with six of these little goodies, replacement cartridges, and it came with three tops. I don't throw these away every single time. I'll save them in case one goes bad. I always want to have a couple extras. This wasn't really, this wasn't really going to be part of the video per se. But um, because I, I made it, I made another video on that. But since I'm shoot, since I'm right here, you see, here's one of those cartridges there. You unscrew that, and this is a wick. And then, and then you would here's here's your little deal. You would screw that on there, plug that into the wall. The aroma comes up on. But there's a table top that sits on there. See, here's a different here's a different one. The wick goes up through there, and there's a little 
platform up there. The wick goes up there, and then and then this top thing gets kind of moist, and then and then it it's heated up with a little motor heater thing in there, and then it it uh, permeates throughout your room. It calms your cats down. Trust me, it works. And you see this one here. I've got a little piece of uh, napkin under there. See how it's kind of setting at an angle? It doesn't want to set in there straight. And I think, I think it's because this electrical outlet is in the hallway. This condo is 15, over 15 years old. See, see how this kind of, it just doesn't want to hold up there. And if you leave it like that and it's coming down at an angle, after you put it in, you feel under there uh, 10 minutes later, this is going to be wet and this is greasy, oily stuff. It's going to be wet. And what do you suppose happens? It drips down on top, top of your carpet. That's why this thing has to be straight like that. That's why, that's why I, I, I put that underneath it. See, but I don't, I don't want to leave it like that. It's, it's not going to take me very long to replace this electrical outlet. This thing costs less than a buck. I'm going to do it right. These, these prongs on here are going to be a lot stiffer because they're brand new. They're not going to be worn out from somebody plugging something in, in here 50 million times in the, last, in the last 15 years because when they run a vacuum up here, where do you suppose they plug the vacuum in? It, it, it's real easy to plug it in here. There's no plugs down here low. Anywhere in here, there's one. There's one behind here. I'm not going to pull that out every single time. And in the bedroom, you know, there's one over there. There's one over there. I, I'm not going to get over there. Here, here's one over here that I, I could use that one to plug in for my uh, vacuum. But then my extension cord on the vacuum is not very long. I, I like to plug in here. Everybody else liked to plug in here before we moved in here too. That's why those prongs are really super loose. So even if you have an electrical outlet that's still working, if those prongs are loose, why don't you go ahead and just replace it? It doesn't take you very long. Maybe you only got two or three of those in your, your house. Different areas where you know every time you plug something in there, your vacuum, it always wants to kind of come out. It doesn't poke in there very well and you have a hard time leaving your plugging your extension cord in there. Go ahead and replace your electrical outlet, even if it's not broken. But if you have a broken electrical outlet with this, where this uh, ground prong goes in there, if that breaks, did you know this is this is a failed and a, def a defective outlet? No, no uh, inspector is going to say, "Oh yeah, that's still good. You shouldn't have to replace it." If an inspector came to your house to sell your house before you buy your house. You'll, you'll have a homeowner's inspection. Uh, the the guy's supposed to check all that kind of stuff. If, if you're um, doing a remodeling job, your inspector comes, if he sees one of those broken, guess what? He's gonna make you replace it, even if, you, even if it's still working. But if your face is cracked, or if you're having a hard time with one side not working, you know you always have to plug in here because this side's not working, it's defective. Go ahead and replace it, okay? That's what this video is about.